This is Pep Fernandez with HS Game Time and PE.com at Citrus Hill High School with the Hawks head coach Eric Zomal and coach. You guys reached the semifinals last year in the Eastern Division. So close, but a lot of those key guys from last year's team, I can see them out here on the practice field, are back. So you guys must feel pretty good about where uh, 2012 might lead you, right? Yeah, ho you know, hopefully we, we have some uh, some some key players uh, back from last year's team, but we also lost lost some guys that, that played a major role in Davian Payne and Ricardo Franco and uh, Darnell Murray. But um, but you know, we we uh, we got some skilled kids, our quarterback and receivers, and most of the defense. Uh, are, are back this year, so so we're excited about that. When you lose key players, for example, the pain train, uh, do you tell the other guys, you know, it's it's an opportunity for them to step up and you know be a part of this team? You know what? I mean, it's just a part of the process. I mean, we lost one of the the, the best players to come out of this area, you know, in, in recent history, Deontay uh, Cooper, and so. Davian stepped up. We, we told him, you know, uh, you, you got some big shoes to fill, and uh, and, and the same things uh, uh, has been said to, uh, to to PJ Walker, who will be the uh, the tailback this year for us. So the kids understand that, you know, we we, we have a, a high level of expectation, and and, and the kids hopefully uh, can can live up to it. You've got Polly in week zero on August 24th at Ramona, and then beyond that, some other tough uh, non-league games. Can you talk about some of those non-league contests coming up? And uh, should be a test, right, for Citrus Hill? Yeah, we open up with Riverside Polly, which is you know we played them the past two years, and they, they beat us a couple they beat us a couple years ago, and uh, and last year they had us down at the half. So I mean it's it's been a battle uh, both times, um, and so uh, we'll, you know we'll, they'll be fired up. And we'll kick off the season and get it going uh, hopefully uh, uh, on a positive note. Then we uh, we head out to San Bernardino for a, uh, in a Royal Valley game in, in week two and uh, and and you know they, I believe they hired a coach who was there before who had a lot of success and so uh, you know we know they'll have some some skilled kids that can play and be be well coached and, and we're excited about that uh, week three uh, Arlington uh, coach McCarthy I mean just uh, you know a coach who gets a lot of respect and, and, and well deserved uh, in this area kids are always tough always physical always uh, do it the right way and uh, uh, week four uh, North High School, JW North. We're excited about that. Um, first time that, that we'll have them on the schedule in the history of the school. And Coach Paredes is, is, is one of the most respected, you know, well-respected coaches in this in, in Southern California. I mean, he's done it out of Bishop of Mott and done it in the IE and, and won a bunch of championships. And then we finish up our non-league with King, uh, which is, you know, it's we've never played them, but, you know, just because of the proximity yeah. and, and, and the same kind of neighborhood. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure it'll be exciting for both teams. You think the kids are pumped up for that one, just being neighbors with that school king just down the road? Yeah, I'm sure that'll play into it. But yeah. I mean, our kids get excited for everybody, so so you know it'll be a you know it'll it'll be a good a good uh, fiery matchup. Coach, looking over here on the wall, it says 2007 CIF champs, 2008 CIF champs. What's it going to take for the Hawks in 2012 to add another CIF champion logo up there on that wall? You know it. You know we got some kids that can play, so that that helps. But you know. The, the, Really, it comes down to, to first and foremost, you know, be, being healthy uh, late in the season, uh, you know, getting some some breaks your way, you know, at, at that time of the year, and and also the kids early on embracing the uh, the, the concept of uh, preparation and, and attention to detail and 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 you know all of those cliches that you hear, but you know those things are true. I mean, if, if you don't if you don't prepare to uh, to win a championship early in the season, it's not just going to happen magically. You can't just turn it on, and and hopefully we learned that uh, our lesson last year in the semis when. Uh, we came against a team that was well coached, well prepared, not intimidated at all, and uh, in, in heritage, and um, and and, uh, and and we came up short. So hopefully uh, we can we can you know, evolve a little bit this year. Citrus Hill head coach Eric Zomalt.